Hey, you guys. Long time no see. Yeah, some of you guys know at this point. I lost my SD card, so that's why you guys haven't really been seeing anything from Book Haul Monday, where there's a book haul every Monday while supplies last, but apparently not while I don't have a camera. <laughs> yeah, my webcam is kind of crappy. We we all sell quality, right? <laughs> but anyway, I still haven't found my, my SD card, uh, so I'm using my flip camera right now, but um, yeah, so I have a... Uh, book haul for you guys obviously it's been a while so i got these from book outlet so here we go um <clears throat> the first one i have to show you is the thing about the truth by lauren barn hold it and this one isn't for me it's from cat from cat bella and i'll link her booktube channel down below but we're doing an exchange and this is what it looks like and uh, it says headed for love and trouble Kelsey's not going to let one mistake ruin her life. Sure, she got kicked out of prep school and all her old friends are shutting her out. But Kelsey's focused on her future and she's determined to get back on track at Consulate Public. And Isaac's been kicked out of more schools than he can count since his father's a state senator. Isaac's life is under constant scrutiny and it's hard to live up to the pressure. Concordia's Public is his last stop before boarding school and Isaac's hoping to fly under the radar and stay put for change so you know they meet it might be love at first tight she thinks he's stuck up it's a surprise for them both but there are secrets in both their past that might come back to haunt them so yeah that one seemed really good i want to read it myself <clears throat> and then i got her the woman who died a lot by jasper ford um this one seems to be some kind of thing about specs ops and like um some was that word um like spy kind of thing going on so this one seemed interesting got this one for her <clears throat> it was another she actually wanted it i didn't just like pick it up at random um then i got myself because you know if you place an order for someone i have to place a couple of books for myself um <clears throat> it's the manual of aeronautics by scott westerfield and it's an illustrated guide to the leviathan series which which i haven't finished reading yet i read the first book but I haven't read the other one so far. But I had to get this because it seemed really nice and it's smaller than I thought it was going to be. But they have like pictures and some of the stuff that they describe. And it's like a steampunk kind of thing. So that seems really interesting. Yeah. So the next thing that I got was Velveteen by Daniel Marks. Whose channel I will link down below for some of the, you guys who know. And this was... His, I think it was his first YA novel, and it was about Velveteen Monroe, and she's kept and kidnapped by a madman named Bonesaw and stuff like that. And I heard it was some people didn't like it because it was really dark, but that doesn't that doesn't bother me, and I'm really looking forward to it. And he's supposed to be going to this event in New Orleans in May, and I'm hoping to go, so I decided to get this and hurry up and read it. And yeah, then we have. When You Were Gone by Lauren Sturzak. Now, this one just kept staring at me for some reason, and I almost pre-ordered this one last year. I actually think I did, and then I took it off, but um, it seemed really good. And I love this cover, and it's like, two years ago, Andrea's best friend, Dakota, walked out of her life. One week ago, she left Andrea a desperate and muffled voice call. Andrea never called back. Now Dakota's missing, and all that remains are a string of broken hearts, a flurry of rumors, and a suicide note. Andrea can't stop assessing on what she might have, might, might have happened as she answered Dakota's call, and she's going more convinced each day that Dakota is still alive. Maybe finding and saving Dakota is the only way Andrea can save herself, or maybe it's too late for them both. So I'm really looking forward to this one. It seems really good. Now this last one, you guys might you guys just might i've been having them on my wish list for a while but i've never actually gotten to them but then there was a cover change and i was like no i really want these ones so here we go i got ruby red and sapphire blue by Kristen gear now you guys know that this is about a girl and ruby and everyone like a parent like one person in her generation um has like a gene whoever's born first gets this time traveler gene and everyone thinks it's her cousin until uh surprise surprise she accidentally time travels and i don't think she knows how to get back and stuff but she's all unprepared for it and i heard really great things and some not so good things but i finally decided to go ahead and get it because sapphire blue had a ch uh 
cover change for the hardcover because if you guys have looked and saw for like the paperbacks they have like these uh these pictures but it's like the full one with the dress and then these ones they just had this little thing but for the second one they they started changing this one to like the full on dress and I'm like that is not okay okay so I had to hurry up and get it and that's my excuse and that's what I'm gonna go for it looks so pretty I'm gonna get emerald green before I start reading them maybe I'm not sure yet but those are the ones that I got not so not so many books but I'm learning I haven't placed this order I only bought two books so far in the month of February so but I still have a couple of book hauls for you guys still but so far so so good it's it's a learning process by not buying books it's really hard so you guys let me know what you guys got recently or if you guys did a book haul you guys can link it down below and I'll go check it out and I will see you guys next Monday hopefully with my camera after I have my SD card maybe no I'll see you guys bye